Okay, here we go, everybody. A Spanish soldier walks on patrol. Now Barbosa watches Jack hoist himself even higher up the tall palm tree. He shifts his inquisitive gaze. Jack reaches the more slender top of the palm tree and frees himself from the ropes. He holds still as the tall, thin palm tree sways with the wind, then gathers the rope. He ties one end around a coconut. Standing upright, he swings the coconut in a wide circle, then hurls it around the trunk of a neighboring palm tree just below the green hole. toward it. From the ground, the Spanish soldiers spot the bending palm tree. The prisoner is escaping. Captain Jack lets the bent palm tree fling him through the air to another treetop. The soldiers watch. He's escaping! Fight him! Fight him! The soldiers hurry into the jungle. Hurries over to Barbosa. I figured that was the signal. He cuts through his captain's ropes with his sword. Now the Spanish soldiers advance across the jungle floor. Above them, Jack drops coconuts, hitting one of the men on the head. They watch the palm tree lean. Jack leaps from his perch. Swinging by his rope, he knocks one of the soldiers down. He swings back over the group and lowers himself to the ground. The soldiers charge, he frees the rope's upper end and gathers it all up. He dashes through the group, jumping one sword and ducking two others. He runs around the group, tying them to the base of a palm tree. He pulls the rope tight, bows cordially, then he folds. Now Barbosa and Groves join their crew. Go! Prepare to move out! The enemy is through the pirates! Jack catches up with them. I'm oh, sorry about the chalices, Jack, but I have an appointment to keep. I'm not be going back. No need. He holds up the chalices. We have a drink. We'll drink at the town. Jack hurries off with Barbosa and his men. They talk. Our view crests the notched peak of a lush mountain and arrives over a green valley. Walking through the jungle, Angelica studies the compass. Blackbeard walks behind her. A sword abruptly blocks Angelica's path. She eyes Jack. How is it we can never meet without you pointing something at me? Grins. 